Hello, welcome to the Title I Annual Meeting for Ridgecrest Elementary School, August 2020. What is Title I? Title I is a federally funded program which ensures all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high quality education and reach proficiency on state academic achievement standards and assessments. Title I funding is allocated to schools based on free and reduced lunch status. Title I school-wide schools use Title I funds to upgrade the entire educational program of the school, collect and analyze data that affects student achievement, and develop a comprehensive site plan and annually review the effectiveness of the plan. Our school curriculum includes reading English language arts, math, science, social studies, physical education, music, art, computer technology, and Spanish. At the elementary level, Lawton Public Schools uses the following state and local academic assessments to monitor student progress. The OSTP, Oklahoma School Testing Program in grades three through five, district benchmarks, star reading and star math assessments in grades K through fifth, access 2.0 for English learners, ELs, and classroom assessments. Results of these assessments will be shared with parents through conferences and assessment result letters. Access 2.0 results will be shared with parents on the English Language Academic Plan. At the end of each school year, elementary students in grades 3 through 5 take the OSTP assessment. The proficiency levels are shown here. Scores of 300 or above represent students falling in the advanced or proficient range. Scores of 299 or below represent students falling into the basic or below basic range. Parents' notification of Title I requirements are located in the Title I handbooks and in the public file. These include an open letter to parents, district parent and family engagement policy, federal programs complaints policy, information for parents, parents' right to know letter, school parent and family engagement policy, and the school parent compact. These can also be found on site web pages, which are used for school and home communication. The school will provide upon request information regarding professional qualifications of the student's classroom teacher and information regarding whether or not services to the child are provided by paraprofessionals and the qualifications of the paraprofessionals. The school will provide upon request information regarding the child's level of achievement as well as the school's performance on the state academic assessments. The school will also provide timely notice if the parent's child has been taught for four or more consecutive weeks by a teacher who is not certified in the grade and or subject being taught. How can you be involved? Parent and family engagement activities provide a way for all parents to become involved in learning activities with their children. These include parent-teacher conferences, parent meetings, and volunteering. You can also be involved in decision-making by serving on the school-wide planning team, by completing the needs assessment survey each year, by participating in school committees, or by representing the school on DPAC, the District Parent Advisory Committee. Federal law requires that districts set aside 1% of their Title I allocations for parental and family engagement. Districts allocate 90% of that 1% to Title I school sites. Parents are invited to participate in decision-making on how parental and family engagement funds are spent. Parents have a right to request meetings. Upon the request of parents, the school must provide opportunities for regular meetings for parents to formulate suggestions and to participate as appropriate in decisions about the education of their children. The school must respond to any such suggestions as soon as practicably possible. Avoiding chronic absenteeism. Students' school attendance is strongly correlated to academic achievement, graduation rates, and post-secondary success. A student is considered chronically absent after missing 10% or more of school days. This includes both excused and unexcused absences. Missing 10% of school days would be approximately 18 days in a normal 180-day school year, just two days per month. Chronic absenteeism results in lost instructional time for students. 
Site-specific chronic absenteeism information can be found on the Oklahoma State Report Card at www.oklaschools.com. For more information on the impact of attendance on student progress, visit www.attendanceworks.org. Ridgecrest's school-wide plan goals for 2020-2021 are based on the annual program review needs assessment process. Our school goals are to increase student mastery on STAR reading and writing process, to increase student mastery on STAR math numbers and operations, and to ensure students can articulate expectations and no requirements. Our school reform strategies include computer-assisted instruction, differentiated instruction, flex grouping, graphic organizers, guided reading, response to intervention, RTI, and small group instruction. A handout providing an overview of the programs and services provided at our site can be viewed on our school webpage. Links for computer programs can be accessed on Clever at www.clever.com using your students' email and login credentials. Thank you.